Hey, this is Tom with The Verge. We're in Barcelona today at Mobile World Congress and Lenovo has invited us to a museum. Now normally I would walk in the museum and not have an idea of where I was going. The whole idea of the event today is to show us Google's Project Tango in action. So we've seen this before, it's a tablet with crazy 3D sensing cameras on the back. But really today it's not about gaming or any of the other augmented reality purposes that you could use it for, it's for indoor navigation. Obviously Google's the king of uh, mapping outdoors, but they're really trying to be the king of mapping indoors too. So we went in, there's a tablet, it's the usual Project Tango development kit, so we're not seeing it on the phone yet, that's the big promise. But the tablet essentially allows you to navigate around this museum. The interface is very much like Google Maps. You get a live view, which is an augmented reality view, so you get blue lines and dots that you can see and, and basically travel around the museum from floor to floor or from painting to painting. Um, essentially what it does is it's guiding you around the museum, allowing you to find your way without having to ask someone, without any of the traditional ways. Um, this was just a museum today. You can imagine this would be great in a mall, um, any retail stores, any sort of setting like that. So you can tap on the tablet once you get to, say, the painting you're trying to find. Uh, you could tap on, on the painting, they'll have little markers um, to give you information about the thing. So, um, but it's actually good to see it in action today. Um, so we spoke with Google and Lenovo after the quick demonstration. They basically told us that the idea is obviously to get this into a smartphone. And um, so at the moment, the promise is a six inch or around that sort of figure uh, smartphone. So it's going to be a pretty large device. Um, but trying to keep it real simple uh, on the hardware and keeping the camera in line with what you would expect from a normal camera on a phone. And then the other promise is that to map these rooms and to get all this indoor data, um, they're trying to hope that this is like a crowdsource thing or something that malls want to be able to do themselves. It's like a selling point to attract customers, try and get them in and make it a lot easier to navigate around inside. In reality, we'll see if people want to walk around with their cameras on and capture this data for Google. Um, I think their idea is that you'll get something back from it if you participate in this crowdsourcing. The idea and the dream of navigating indoors is very much alive and we just saw a really small taste of it today.